I was, I was the media director of that tournament, and um, <clears throat> when we got to that championship, as I like to call it, the Super Bowl for the women, it was the least rated team was the Nasarawa Amazons. They were like, no uh, rivers and just are coming, Delta <laughs> Queens are here, everybody, you know, they have, we have they had three teams from the South South, and we were like, I mean, it is done and dusted for these teams to take the title. And they shocked everyone. Yeah. I mean, the final was very, very instructive because, I mean, we had players, you know, uh, Jagede, the captain of the Delta Queens, Queens yes. fantastic player. You were there, you watched some of the games. It was an amazing tournament, tournament. for them. And they said they came to prove a point that if they had lost in the ITO Cup, they are coming to show that they are not that bad. And I think that <laughs> what, they should be, what they should start doing is, look, the national team selectors should start looking at several teams. Oh, we have fantastic female teams. Yeah. We can win the World Cup for women if we put our mind to it. Wow. Yeah, I think I, I love that. Really, That's because I watch these girls play. You know too what? Good. You know, no, no, to, to be very, I mean, greets, you know, techniques, anything you can think of. Too and good. knowing that Christopher Danjumo is in charge of Four Corners, was not even there, you know, in the final game because of his uh, national assignment Engagement, and all that. Yeah. He had Michael Laoyu, who was the assistant coach. He fantastic took the girls coach, and, too. And, and he did, day, he did good. Very, very well. Fantastic, so. Fantastically well. <laughs> you know, because I, I watched mm. every game, every, every game, game, as in every game. I watched every game and I was like... Is it patriotism speaking or... I mean, because you said these girls can... Or sentiment. Or sentiment. No. It's they're good. Good. It's, it's, they're I that think, good. I think they're that good. Mm -hmm. let, me, let, me, let me put it to you. You see, when Japan won the World Cup, they are women, so to speak. They, they, they had a league. Yes. And the league is good. Our league is fantastic. Our league is good. Thanks to the initiative that... Uh, Madam Aisha Faludi is putting and her team. She, she will always tell you she's not doing it alone. It's God and her team. And so I think that we can win, actually win the World Cup if we put our mind to it that, look, this is our target. Yeah. Of course, the other thing that we should also be thinking of, as I heard, is that can we have a Champions League, I mean, a, yeah. a Women's League in Africa okay. where all the teams can play? Okay. It's because, it's, it's, for instance, you win the uh, Nigerian league, you don't play any league, unlike in the men's. So yeah. the women should also be given the latitude to right. express themselves. Let's talk about the men now and quickly talk about, uh, before we, um, you know, talk about um, the IT Cup, you probably overheard us talking, but let's quickly take, talk about football management now. Uh, Gwenga um, Ogubote, I mean, the revelation it does that it's not going to be, he has parted ways uh, with Ehimba. Some are you rumoring that he's in talks with uh, Rangers. Uh, Rangers? International, But yeah. I, I think it was an amicable, uh, the part of ways are amicable. Yes, as you see, um, me, I, I like the way coaches are doing things. You see, at a point, uh, Austin Cerezo Iguavon got to Sunshine Stars, and he saw the working conditions. Was it we, have a, we have agreed on this, and you are doing that. So I'm not yes. going to work with you. So he took a walk, and another person came and took over. And so the same thing. You see, we should start doing things professionally. If we are calling it professional Nigerian professional league, that is what it is called. So if you say you are going to pay me 10 naira at the end of the month, please can you pay me? And, and I think that is... And if I say, okay, General Raw, despite every noise that is being made, he said he was going to bring a goalkeeper trainer. And he brought one. Aloy Agu is still there. But the NFF insisted that Aloy Agu should still be there. Other players, uh, yeah. other technical staff should still be there. But he brought his own. And so they are working in tandem. Wow. And this, this is something that is in the contract. So we, if we have to learn to do things right, not yeah. do things in, uh, in conundrum, but we, we cannot continue. But a top manager like that will surely get a club soon. Absolutely. I, I, he said so this morning that he's almost there. Okay. So whether it's Rangers, whether it's Rivers United, whether it's everywhere, surely he's we, going to get some. He's <laughs> going to get some. He's a good, he's a good manager. Right. I mean, Definitely. and we should start raising managers like managers that, like that and big, even okay. pushing them into national right. club sides okay. because they know the players. Okay. Let, let, let's quickly talk about three SC. Uh, they, they are down there now in, in the Nigerian National League, but we hear no longer is Fatamo, not in the saddle, but Edita Goye, former player, uh, was in the all conquering side of three SC. Um, that won the last I think the last time they won the league was a player there. Now he's a man at the saddle, and uh, he has the responsibility of bringing the club back 
to the top flight. Yeah, uh, Edith agreed, and I know fantastic midfielder does this. I think he has what it takes. He's been almost like all his life in shooting stars. Around, in and around. around. In and around, he goes, he comes back, and now he's a member of the coaching staff, like Lati Yusuf and Co. and, you know, Jibadi Babalade, if you recall, those good yeah. old days of shooting stars. This, this, they, this is how it is done. He's in Edith Zidane. He's not in Real Madrid by accident. I mean, he's doing it because he's been part of the squad. Part he knows the, system, the yeah. players, he knows the system, he knows the workings of even the management. And I think uh, Edith is good to go. However, he needs the support of those who are financing the club because part of the problem that the club has, I don't think is just about that the club didn't have good players. I think part of the problem they have is, you know, doing the players well. Welfare is key. If, you are, if the welfare is, is, is going well and, and, and the players are doing good, the players will do good if your welfare is good. I think that is the issue. Okay. Um, let, let, let me put you into this, into the discussion. You weren't here when we talked about it, but let's the review. Uh, we talked about the IT Cup. Governor of Akaribo, uh said that that prize money uh, is, is not enough. That, you know, there should be an upward uh, review. I think a lot of people agree uh, with that as well. That um, sometimes when you quantify what has been spent and what you get, it, it might not just tally. You see, I keep saying that we are a developing country. Yes. And so, as a developing country, we keep getting it right. We keep, but by the day. I, I, yes, by the day. Because, see, um, how many companies are ready to even bring out money Something now? At all. At all, to even put. We have the big companies. We are hearing billions and billions of, of naira and dollars being taken by our public officials. How many of these public institutions are ready to say, okay, um, I, I don't want to mention them so that I will not, you know, bring money to say we are sponsoring football because this is a youth thing. You understand? You are developing the youth and you are taking them out of, out of, out of uh, crazy. You are taking them out of crime. You are taking them out of all manner of, you know, indices that are negative. And, but there are no many. So, I, I, yes, the governor may have said that it's not enough, but I think that ITO has done... It's a good well starting enough. point. It's a good starting okay. point. Next, it, it's, it's, re, it's reviewable. Every year you give... And then how much of um, mileage have they gotten, you know, in terms of media okay. and all, all right. that? And all so right. I think that we should clap for them instead of saying no. Uh, no okay. 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 He's just the talks, yeah, the talks will continue. How big the competition should be, and yeah. it should get bigger. It can more only get bigger. It can yeah. only get bigger. That's like, is there a starting point? Okay. I mean, uh, we, we we talked about Blessing Okagbari earlier. You know, achievements and all of that. Uh, talking about the fact that she will be inducted into college system. Talking about the U.S. Uh, Texas there. Now, this is what she achieved. I read out this earlier. You know. The 100 meters uh, NCAA title, the long jump NCAA, NCAA title, 60 meters uh, title at uh, the 2010 NCAA Indoor Championship, because the long jump title to enter the NCAA Indoor Championship also. And also, she got the Boema Award nomination. We know that uh, Mary Ann is another athlete that also had this kind of induction a long time ago. I really can't remember now, but we know that, you know, for you to achieve this, it simply means you're just it's one remarkable. of the best. What do you think about this? I think it's remarkable. I mean, she's an athlete of quality. My only quarrel with her is, I mean, when it gets to the final, the big of, occasions, the big occasions. But well, she has she won seems, some medals. She, she, she's won some medals. I mean, <laughs> in the long jump in bronze, I know what happened. I don't want to go there. But you see, she's an athlete of quality. No doubt about it. But what I will challenge her with, no matter the number of. Of course, in future, she will be inducted into the Nigerian Definitely. Sports, sports Definitely. Hall of Fame. She Definitely. already has a place, you yeah. know. But, but what, what, what I want to challenge her with is, look, when you get to a major final, this is her weakness. Don't start to develop... Cold feet. Cold feet. Did they say, what is this tummy again? Don't start developing. <laughs> okay. No, I don't think that it's... I, I think, okay. I think that, is, that is my okay. problem with that. Yeah. I want her to do something special. In a major before championship, living, instead of if, instead of the Ivorian coming to top her, instead of 
the Americans and Jamaicans beating you know, her. When, when and then I, she wins. I, you, the problem is that all she beats the, all of them. She beats all of them in the, in the regular season, big, then the quarterfinals, then the semifinals. You know and what? then you get to the final you know and then you chicken out. Let's what is that? Is Let, it chickening out or maybe the support system those ones have? She doesn't the support have system, it. The support system we okay. have at I the Athletic Federation is we'll strong. Leave. Let's oh really? Yeah, okay. I think it's I think we'll leave that story for at Let's London. Leave it. We don't talk about what happened yes. in London. Let's leave it at that. We'll talk about the Carabao Cup, right? Yeah, quickly. Yeah. Before we go on a break. Okay, we'll just Let's have quickly the draws what went on down fixtures, on, yes. on Thursday night. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Arsenal will face West Ham in the last eight. You have Bristol City and uh Manchester City. Manchester United facing yep. each other. They have Chelsea and Bournemouth. They have Leicester City and Manchester City in facing each other in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Right. That's it. So let's go on a quick break now. When we return, we've not forgotten about Anthony Joshua. Definitely we'll talk about him. So let's go on that break. Still so much for your sports this morning.